Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is where you are, and welcome back to another episode on the Annoyed Dad channel. In today's episode, we're going to have a look and see what I've been and brought, because I've been shopping. It's uh, Monday, Monday afternoon, and you are getting this on the day it's actually filmed, which is quite good going. And I've um, normally, on a Monday or a Tuesday, we have to end up going to the feed store. Now, I didn't want to film anything within the feed store because they are a local little independent well they're not little they are quite a big company but they're a one store local one and they're quite good to us so um i wasn't going to ask if i could film in there or anything because it isn't going to add anything to the video you'll just see a couple of pallets with feed on them as it is in here basically so this is what i have been and purchased and i just thought i would just go through and i would show you what i've purchased why i've purchased it and what it get you gets used for because i've done the feeding routine that we do over the morning but i've never explained the feed and what it is that we actually buy and here comes the rain thank you so much rain you held off just until i started recording so let's go through what's in my little trailer this is great having this little trailer just to pull stuff backwards and forwards because that's 20 40 60 80 kilos in there plus the other bits and pieces um, that are in there as well so you could be knocking on for just under just under 100 kilos in there which is like another me basically and i wouldn't want to carry me down our lane we've got here uh, not at all so anyway so what have i got i've got a battery an old battery uh, this was in the boot of my car and it's been in there for ages um, it's one that was basically left here by the old people but I ran it home just to test it and it's knackered. So it can go there. Uh, and then we'll do a scrap one run day. Another fen trap. Um, you might have seen in the other videos, these are what I used to catch the rats. I had this one at home and it was used to catch rats at home and it's done its, its job, it's done brilliantly. But I now need some extra ones down here. Because if you look, I'm not sure if the camera will be able to pick it up. But if you go, see, there's one down there. That's one I placed in this morning and I sat, but there is a line that runs along, runs along, runs along, runs along, and it runs across there, you can just make it out. See how that bit there is? Just make it out, a line, and then it goes through the grass there. You can quite clearly see it. That's a rat run. That is a literal rat run. So I've placed one there, and I'm gonna put one, I'm gonna put that one just down over there, and fingers crossed we might catch ourselves a couple of rats. Ugh, I hate the rain. Next up, this is what I brought the other day. I haven't brought this one today. This is from Argos. This is the video I've been meaning to do. If I put it down here with the other one, because I brought two of them. Uh, this is the video I've been meaning to do on the dust baths. So it is basically children's play sand. You buy it in Argos, which is, um, if, if you're not from England or the UK, it's like a, it's like a catalog store, basically. And you just order online, you go in and you pick it up. Um, five pound for a bag so really really cheap but i've got to get the other bit of the dust bath to be able to make the dust bath okay what else we got we got an egg tray i have friends woohoo and uh they like having eggs so i took them to my friends the other week and they've eaten all of the eggs and they gave me back the empty egg tray um they did also drop a couple of hints you know empty egg tray there you go thank you ever so much empty it's empty have you seen it's empty yes i know it's empty you'll get some more don't you worry right next up what have we got i brought a uh, a bag of wild seed mix today it cost me two pound fifty for that bag there and uh i don't know how much it weighs probably three kilos maybe four kilos but that's going to go for the turkeys so i'll put it because i'm going to give them something in just a minute we will film that as well they're going to like that just as a bit of like a mix up um, because I give them various other bits and pieces. So I'm gonna do these bags individually because then I've got to carry them in and I can't really carry them in whilst talking because they weigh 20 kilos. I can carry one under each arm, but uh, it wouldn't make a good video like. So um, so what we got, we have got Farmgate layers pellets. Farmgate is a pretty big company. Um, so we buy those, the layers pellets. I think these cost us, um, nine pound 40 a bag but i am looking to get hold of a pallet load of them which obviously bring down the cost of them so we got two of them and those two they will last us a week we've got another one here if we go down to the label 
you can see they're called farm gate rearer pellets and these are basically for the younger birds so these will be used for my wife's birds because they're not laying yet so they will get them that one there will probably last us a month um, well it, it all depends if i run out of layers pellets at any point because if i run out of layers pellets i just give the birds them because it doesn't make a huge amount of difference to the birds um, as long as you're not doing it on like a regular basis um, so yeah that will probably last us about a month um, again that was nine pound forty i think it was and then i've got a 20 kilo bag of wheat um, this cost eight pound forty and that will last us again a week this is the one that goes into the water that gets left for three days to soak and expand and then it gets fed to the birds so yeah that is basically my, my feed that is what i feed them what else i buy i'll also show you i didn't buy any today but i have got some tucked away in here there we go so like the bag of uh, wild bird seed you, you just saw, I also buy bags of oyster shell. And these are probably two, three kilo bags again, two pound 10 for the bag. And it is just broken up parts of oyster shell uh, for the birds to eat, which obviously then goes into the crop, which helps to break down their food. Um, so yeah, that's basically that. And if we go through to the turkles, I was listening to a podcast yesterday on turkeys. It was really, really interesting. So I actually learned that the young males are actually called jakes. And I never knew that before. I'd never heard it. But um, apparently, yeah, they're called jakes. And the older ones, like I call him Mr. Gobbler, are actually called gobblers. Um, something which I didn't know. So, so you see, there they go. They're looking at it a bit inquisitively because I don't know quite what it is. But they should go for it because it's just seeds and that. It's uh, the type of stuff that they would eat naturally. Well, I've left them for about half hour or so and they haven't touched the seed, as is quite often the way. I even added in some of the wheat over the top and some of the pellets as well, but no, they haven't touched it at all. So what we'll do is we'll just put that into a bucket See, I'll leave the little bits like that, so they might come around and do that. But I just put it in the bucket, and what I do is I'll give it to them tomorrow morning. So the reason why they left it is because it's like uh, two o'clock in the afternoon now, and they know they get fed in the morning. And when I come in, they know the routine and they know how the feeding happens and um, the order that things are done in. And they're quite clever birds and they know that if i'm giving them any feed at this time of day there might be something wrong it's not normal that's not what normally happens so you're able to see like they're where they're just walking around in circles looking and trying to work out what's actually going on is it real feed is it not are we in trouble are we in danger but yeah that's basically what they do there's the other rat trap set up ready to trap the rat so i think the only thing that is left are you still playing the annoyed dad drinking game every time he says so take a drink uh the only thing that's left is to say how much i actually spent on that little lot uh because i don't think i put it in at the start i went to the shop with uh what did i have i had 40 pounds in my pocket and i come away with 40p so 39 pounds and 60 pence for enough feed that will last me for the week and last the birds for a week um, and a few other bags that will go over the reason why i done this one to explain it is because i also had to buy the growers and there was a couple of other bits and pieces that we added in as well just to show you so thank you so much for watching if you have not already done so please do leave me a question down in the comments below Wednesday's video is going to be the last of the daily uploads for the lockdown and in that one I will answer questions that you ask. It's not an AMA and ask me anything, it, it's like a ask me something about farm, animals, 
those sorts of questions. Um, so if you have a question, if you've watched any of the videos and you have thought, I wonder this, I wonder that, why does he do this, why does he do that, why doesn't he do anything else? Please do leave it down and in Wednesday's video I will try to answer it. As well as on Wednesday I'm going to pick up some other birds, more birds. Um, and there's something else happening Wednesday, I can't remember what. But yeah, loads going on. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave us a question down below and until tomorrow's video, bye bye.